Tell you. I'll be your Huckleberry for five fucking seconds. I'll be your Huckleberry for five fucking seconds. I'll be your Huckleberry for five fucking seconds. Tell you what. Last time I'm going to mention this loser on my stream. Last time, last time, last time. And when I say on my stream, I really mean on my YouTube that you're currently on right now, which you can like, hit the like, hit the bell, hit the subscribe. I'm done farming this. Like, I've only done it twice, so leave me alone. I'm done talking about this. I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to give him my last, the iota and brain cell of whatever this is going to be about. I'm going to pretend I don't know anything, and I'm going to go into this blindly. I'm going to assume that Ethan is bringing up Ludwig's name and that fact that we need to talk about him because there's a real point to be made here. Today's video is about Ludwig. Remember that guy in the video that I made a rap song about? Well, we watched his reaction before. We watched his reaction before, and when people did, when I like did like this with my knuckles, he was like, oh, he's autistic. And I'm like, no, bro, I can crack my knuckles on command. I hope you know, like, I, I was an Olympian. Table tennis, my hands are kind of like broken. You know, so I kind of have to do this every few hours or so to keep the feeling from going out in my hand. But yeah, autistic. Actually, who made a video called What is Happening to Twitch in which he explains what is going on with the apocalypse taking place on Twitch right now. In this video, he somehow didn't mention me, Hassan, Israel IP block, or anything. It's like he's so afraid of um, pissing off the cool kids that they're not going to let him sit at, his, at their table anymore. The stakes are a little higher in my opinion, because by misrepresenting what happened. Wow, okay, so that's very funny. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a four-part series called You Peaked in High School. And ironically, he just brought up the thing that I've been saying. See, you see what I mean about, like, people peaking? Like, first of all... Nigga. Second of all, you see what I mean? If you just look at people for five seconds... You just take a second to just stare at them. Sometimes you will indeed find their immoral inhibitions layered right there in front of you. You do not need to take people at face value for anything after a pattern of behavior. Now, I said in the beginning of this, I was going to uh, take him at face value. Do you see what charitability does to you? It makes you look dumb. Now, you may say, well, you're live streaming and this just dropped. There's no way you planned a whole segue into a conversation. I'm that nice. It's me. Hey, 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 it's me. Tay Rock, what's up? It's me. He doesn't help anyone. I mean, he helps Hassan. That's the only person he does. But he's sweeping this anti-Semitism issue right under the rug to the point where it's like, wow, you really don't care. You really do not care about this at all. So let's go ahead and watch a sliver. What is the anti-Semitism? Is the anti-Semitism in the room with us right now? Because you just said he didn't mention you or Hassan or the Israel IP block. Are you conflating Israel with Jew being Jewish? Kind of the problem, right? Can't do that with anybody else right now, right? Black people aren't, like, you see what I, like, immediately, you can't even fix the phrase. ...of this mogul male and see what's going on with Ludwig. But first, we have to talk about why they pulled out. What, what, where did the advertisers go? Do they hate Twitch all of a sudden? Well, the genesis of this, as far as I can tell, is when Asmin got banned off of Twitch. Because, you see, Asmin got banned after making some comments about Palestinian people, some very negative comments about Palestinian people. He got banned off of Twitch. And this sort of caused a domino effect where people are like, okay, you banned Asmin for saying this thing about Palestinian people, but you know, what about uh, this person saying this thing about this people? And that, what, this person saying this about these people? Did you just yada, 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 the whole anti-Semitism thing to protect? Delusions of grandeur. Delusions of grandeur. I didn't mention you, you knew I was talking about you. Take it for what it is. Protect your friend Hassan. How about having a Houthi militant on their... You are not still rehashing this. You, you sound like destiny now. You sound like destiny now. What a pause clip. Whatever the thumbnail for this video comes out to be, it will be auto-generated by uh, uh, the system. There we go. On Twitch mainstream to talk about One Piece and to glaze up his fucking little Houthi cock. This is a sick Negro. 
I appreciate that. That works too. I'll just use that. I think that's easier. With a flag flapping in. Yeah, he just said Houthi, 19 year old Houthi cock. Uh, let's let's extrapolate for a second. Let's just say it for what it is. They want to play around with this with this language and shit, right? Friend Hassan, how about having a Houthi militant on their on Twitch mainstream to talk about One Piece and to glaze up his fucking little Houthi cock? You heard Luffy's cock? No, no, he said Houthi cock. Twitch mainstream to talk about One Piece and to glaze up his fucking little Houthi cock with a flag flapping in the background that says a curse upon the Jews. Ludwig, why did you even bother to make this video? You know what I mean? Just, you don't have to talk about it if you're too cowardly to explain it, really. Because this is an issue Twitch has been dealing with for years, which is inconsistency in their bans, all right? They, they have their, their code of conduct, their terms of service, whatever, they have to ban based off of that, and, and sometimes it's not upheld consistently, all right? And so this became, you can see October 16th, the day Asmin got banned, a very common trend. All right. Oh, you banned Asmin. Well, what about when Frogan said this you know, crazy thing about uh, U.S. soldiers? All right. And, 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 and Twitch got basically controversy after controversy after controversy. No mention of Hassan or me, frankly, not to suck my own dick here, but I did a whole three hour episode dedicated in, you know, meticulous 14 pages. That doesn't sound mentally ill to you, bro. That don't sound mentally ill to you, bro. That don't that don't that don't sound mentally ill to you, bro. You know what? Because I know this video going to get uh, plenty of plays. I'm going to just do this to myself. I'm going to just do it to myself. I'm going to just do it to myself. Let it happen and see where we go from there. Um, This song exists and I haven't dropped it yet. Deal. You crave a new enemy. Just a feature descent. Blaming the whole world when it's you discontent. Obsessed with the ones who don't think you're the man. Stuck in a spiral, playing out your own plan. Maybe if your wife gave you some time off the net, maybe, maybe some head. head. You step back from the edge, from, from the, the bed. Anyway. Oh, God, my chat said it before I could. Yeah, we have to reanalyze this real quick. After controversy. No mention of Hassan. Or me, frankly. Not to suck my own dick here, but I did a whole three-hour episode dedicated in, you know, meticulous 14 pages of meticulous uh, thesising. About why I thought Hassan. 14 pages. How many lines per page? Not to suck my own dick here, but I did a whole. Now, three most people say, oh, you're looking too deep in the Ethan. This is the last time I'm gonna bring him up, so kind of got no choice here, but in the same realm, um, isn't that what he's doing? See, when you wanna go to war, when you wanna wage a war, you got to calculate a lot of bodies because you're about to take a lot of bodies off the other team. When you start moving and flailing and everybody's got a different message, hey, don't this sound like Black Lives Matter? Huh, interesting. When the wrong people are in charge of this, it gets personal, petty, and pedantic. And then you're like, hmm, how did we get here? episode dedicated in you know meticulous 14 pages of meticulous uh thesis about why i thought hassan was harboring anti-semitism and all the various examples of it uh, not any other streamer not kai sanat not aiden ross not sneeko not nick fuentes not destiny just hassan if i were you i'd shut the fuck up but i'm not you um, I thought that was probably a, a big moment for, for, for this all as well, but he doesn't mention any of that. How can he not mention a song? You know, how? And, and, and at first, this was maybe just some like social media stuff, but then there was a concerted effort by people to go straight to the advertisers, right? Because Twitch wasn't buckling. They weren't like banning other people for their comments based off the social media blow up. They were just kind of holding fast. They banned Asmin. They're like, okay, we're good now. Please leave us alone. That's, I think, somewhat true, but I think the underlining problem here is that they agree with the creators who they're not banning. They agree with Hassan and with Brogan, and they, it's an ideological. I would stop naming names. There was a whole Seinfeld episode about this. When we were trying to teach that communism bad, they named names. If I learned that lesson in 2003, how you a grown man with children ain't learned this? You getting cooked today. 
You're getting cooked today. We on that ass today. The fuck are you talking about? I'm going to hit you with the don't uh, drink of your juice in the hood. the fuck is he talking about? Like, what do you mean? First, they came for the communists, and I cheered because I was fucking stupid. Uh, decision. Like, it's not an unbiased decision to enforce the rules. This is them refusing to further other uh, political point of views and identities that they agree with. It's, it's Okay, I can break this down very simple because I don't know why Hassan doesn't do it. Maybe it's the size of his audience that stops him from like making things simple. I do agree with what he said. This is not as big a deal as it would be that the communities are making it into. The fact that it keeps getting circled around, like I said, I'm doing that myself. Please give me the views. Please give me the clout because I'm just doing it. Just fuck it. Fuck it, right? Morals out the window, right? Fuck it. You already know I got better segments coming anyway. Anyway, <laughs> let's break this down. Real easy, real easy. You cannot make this argument about Christianity. Game over. You can't make the argument on Christianity because while you're saying they're silencing voices and opinions, this is one place. This is one place. Is anti-Semitism on the rise? How can I tell? You're telling me that somebody that I've been looking at for probably way too long, my exposure to another human being should never be this fucking long if I've never fucking met them. And I say that to my own chat. I got 47 month subscribers here. And those are the people who know me in real life that have been with me since middle school. I don't understand what's, what, what is tethering you to not gathering what I'm trying to say here. You're getting cooked. You're getting cooked by your own inconsistency and you're posting it like you're championing something. Shut the fuck up. I don't think we should have... Back to the point about what Hassan could truncate and make smaller. This is fucking stupid. This is, you don't want to be my friend anymore. Yeah, you don't want to be my friend anymore. And I don't... I don't know what to do without you. I hate my wife. I hate my marriage. All I see is a colonizer when I look at her, and I can't come to grips with that because I love her. You complete me. Like you sound like the cable guy. You're playing the fucking role of the cable guy. Get my camera into focus, please. I'm about to put that shit on manual just so I don't piss myself off. Come on, we got to farm the clips. That's right, I'm keeping this in the episode too. I'm letting you know I got to farm the clips. Let's rock. You're getting cooked. Oh, man. The high school jock doesn't like me and all my friends are starting to hate me because I can't use the backing of the high school jock. At this point, I'm going to stop hearing you and every time you bring me up, I'm going to tell you, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I don't care. I don't care. Fuck off into the void. Fuck off into the void. We are too old to be doing this. We both are multi-millionaires creating fake and when I say, a, like, the word lie don't even mean anything anymore. When I say this is like a perpetual fever dream that everyone has to take seriously because weirdos exist to, like, strike. And, like, they'll sit there for hours. Her son sucks! Her son so bad! Dr. Disrespect come back from being a pedophile two time. Niggas is quiet. He's still out there, but my camera, you know what? I'm 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 going for the manual. I'm going for the manual focus. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going manual. We're going manual. Now I have nothing to fear. We're going manual. Mm, get that silky smooth right there. Yeah. 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 Yo.
What's funny is the chatter brought this exact same bar for bar hippity hoopla to James's chat. As, because this is, if you know people, if you outside, this is easy to read. This is, this is baby shit. They, yo, you on the court, you hearing baby food. Baby food. Yeah, you can leave him alone. Let him shoot. Let him shoot. Boy, you better go back home and 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 self exit. <laughs> you here? Let him shoot. Yeah, don't. Yeah, I'm gonna move from this town. I'm gonna move because, um, yeah, you right, you right. And you just hear somebody in the back. You suck. Like, you trash. Like, <laughs> this. You're 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 lying. You're lying, and you're lying because nobody wants. To, he doesn't want to give you the attention. You, that's all this is, is you like him as a friend, probably as a brother, probably as somebody you cared about. Then you realize you were ideologically opposed. You have love interests that stop you from thinking clearly, because if you side with Hassan, you gotta get, you gotta divorce your IDF wife. And it's making you reckon with a lot of stuff. So instead of spending your millions of dollars off fucking off to the Cayman Islands like every other weirdo multimillionaire, you got to bring this shit to us, bro. I had a fraction of your money. I would have been improved the hood. I don't already raise tens of millions of dollars for scholarships. And I'm doing that off of fucking $25 an hour for three hours a day for two days a week. Like, you're not moving me, bro. It's downright corruption. It's, it's horrifically bad. That did not work. They were not left alone. Not only were they not left alone, their advertisers were not left alone. And this is one of the uh, other genesis I can see of advertisers uh, now getting involved after the Asmin ban. Uh, and, and here's a tweet that said, made a video uh, of what you can do. It's a long video, so I'll just distill it. But basically, it was email the advertisers that Twitch worked with who were displayed prominently in sections that, that people viewed as like... Look at the tweet, dog, that you're paying attention to that you put in this video that you're going to like make, make made a video on what you should do right now. Absolutely fuck Twitch for making you do this cancel culture, cuck fuck, simp loser shit. I didn't ask to be the adpocalypse foot soldier henchman. Everything has been tried. They don't care. So name and shame, it's all that's left. When we try to get you all to stop and not promote Hogwarts Legacy, you said it was going to fail. When we tried to get a day of blackout on Twitch for Black Lives Matter and the hate raids that were being given... Y'all said it wasn't going to matter. Now, six weirdos in a basement that probably pee, like, downstairs in the community bathroom have now rallied, and now niggas is losing bread. I'm just saying, maybe at this point, every cause could just be stupid and, 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 and little, and we can still do big shit with it. I don't know, man anti-semitic uh and and get them involved okay he says you know fuck twitch for making me do this cancel culture cuck fucks and loser shit but that is exactly what happened it was uh a making me do this nobody makes anybody do anything that is literally the end of my show season five episode 22 lucifer says directly to michael's face you know why we have to why because of one of dad's tests You're making me do this. Nobody makes us do anything. Dad is the one doing this. Why don't we just walk off the chessboard? Lucifer said, let's just walk off the chessboard. Michael was the one who was stubborn and said, no, I have to follow my father's orders. I'm a good son. And what did Dean do in the face of both of them? Said, Adam, I'm sorry, and Sam, I'm with you now. A, a attempt at creating an adpocalypse. It's not an attempt to create an adpocalypse. It's an attempt to hold certain people accountable when the platform... Doug, he doesn't know who Nye Beats is. Shout out Nye Beats. You're making me do this. Oh, man, I really hate getting this swastika, swastika tattoo, but you're making me do this. You keep calling me a Nazi, so I guess I might as well put on the suit. Platform downright refuses to and runs ads on, like, incendiary, psychotic fucking content, right? Adpocalypse. Attempt.
very successful. Now, Twitch tried to curve this. They tried to appease uh, advertisers and also the Anti-Defamation League, who's getting involved, uh, and they banned several Arab streamers following a Habibi... My bitch wife keeps making me beat her. Aw, oh, jeez. Nibis ain't anti-Semitic. Nibis had a little bit of drama back then. Wasn't nothing to worry about. What about that creator? What if somebody comes in there and says, hey, I got a song and it's a Palestinian remix. Politics now? Now she got to come out and say, hey, I don't pay attention to politics to get other people who are going to talk to her and say, oh, you don't pay attention. You're so privileged. Make you focus on it anyway. Immediately, before you even know it. Instead of it just turning into something like this, how about this time? Hey, Paradigm, I got a lot of annoying people in my chat that were talking a lot of shit about what we were doing today. I don't really know how to deal with it. Can you help me? Say that. Say that. Put me in a Discord, hide me for like an hour, get everybody in there, and then boom. I got a message from Paradigm. Yo, and I do a remix on, on some, some informative stuff, and then I say, leave her alone. She ain't got nothing to do with it. Oh, he can rap. He do the music thing. We not listening and hearing a speech. 15 minutes. rating panel that was at TwitchCon, and you can see the sponsors are in the background of this. This was going viral. All, I promise you, all of these sponsors got thousands of emails in their inbox after this, and it worked. This level of anti-Semitism is platformed on the main stage of TwitchCon in front of these sponsors. I mean, what the fuck do you expect, man? Don't blame the gotcha. people at sending emails. Blame fucking gotcha. Dan Clancy and his team of morons that did nothing to shield their ecosystem from this, especially considering they had so much time to learn from what happened to YouTube. Pure incompetence. <clears throat> I was and others were raising the siren about this event and this segment, which I found offensive and anti-Semitic. Um, and, and Twitch did nothing for several days as this got worse and worse and worse. Once again, Hasman Gold got banned immediately, rightfully, duly. However, when it comes to Frogan and her friends shitting on Jewish people, make shitting on Zi Zionists, right? Um, they need a lot of time to think about it. And I think, yeah, like when the ADL got involved, was that's only when they um, when they finally suspended Frogan and, and all the other people up on the stage. When uh, a sitting congressman started writing letters, uh, posting on Twitter, then they then they said, okay, we should probably do something. But so there, there's currently in, in Twitch world a a I mean a piss match, right? Uh, uh, Hassan is blaming Asmin Gold for the apocalypse for for teaming up with people who he says. Whoa, 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 Samson, Samsons, don't be bringing no. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Mm, I can't even explain. Bless you, God. Thank you. This is just more proof. Just information just came in. in. Information just came in. No, it's good information. Oh, this is the best information I've seen in a while. A lot of points made. Oh, that's such good. That's so good. So good. I can't tell y'all what it is though. And Asmin is looking at me and blaming me. I want to say you're welcome. Just it puts taking blame himself on my face. And, and probably talking about DEI again for the hundredth time. I, I, if I had to guess. Now, well, why do you have to guess? You're the guy reporting on what happened, right? Why we why we guessing Ludwig? But certainly, Ludwig is making a lot of guesses in this video here, and I'm guessing that Hassan's cough must taste pretty good. Hassan, he doesn't use baby. Whoa! Okay, that's two references to it now. So that's scripted. That's scripted. And when I say scripted, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to open you into the idea of free wheeling and dealing. Those thoughts are in his head, so he returns to them. Example. It's a very simple example. When I perform poetry and I'm doing like a new improvisation, sometimes I will accidentally loop back to familiar words like exact or dedication, remembrance, because, memory, love. Like I'll go to like general topics, but I now let's run that back again. Now, what well, why do you have to guess? You're the guy reporting on what happened, right? Why we, why we guess in Ludwig, but certainly Ludwig is making a lot of guesses in this video here. And I'm guessing that Hassan's cough must taste. That's got to be the thumbnail. I'm sorry. This has got to be the thumbnail. Like, I got to put, like, the two faces of him. Oh, I know what I could do. Yeah, it's cooked for you. Yeah, it's cooked for you. That pause. 
plus that, yeah, 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 you read my mind already. You was already reading my mind, yeah, yeah, as I paused, yeah, I know. Oh my god, oh, oh man, it's too good, it's too good. I still got that subscription, take screenshot, yep. That's right, I could take screenshots of YouTube videos by just clicking that little camera there. Tastes pretty good. Hassan, he doesn't use baby wipes, he just calls Ludwig over. <sighs> Where are we? Anyway, Ludwig, you know, cheers and all that. Appreciate you. But uh, what? you don't have to make a video, right? Because at the end of the day, what does this do? It absolves the actual perpetrators of this apocalypse. Okay, game over. I'm going to just say this to you directly. We, You and me are probably never going to talk. You are probably never going to see this video. You probably don't give a fuck about niggas. You probably don't give a fuck about whoever the fuck I am. I'm just going to let you know. Your career trash, your opinions trash, everything about you trash, the way you dress trash, your psychotic manic, the way you speak about other people trash. You you, you look like you're literally going through a Megamind Dexter's Laboratory type phase right now, and I hate it. I don't understand why you keep making videos trying to get people's attention. We don't care anymore there are real shit going on right now and that shit is going to affect you too whether you think you got enough money to deal with it or not shut the fuck up shut the fuck up shut the fuck up shut the fuck up you have health care my nigga you got health care and we don't shut the fuck up put on the gloves and box make a song do something other than sit in the fucking room like i'm doing right now and talking about how everybody's your enemy bro you are one of the most subscribed one of the most history has to put you in the wikipedia books shut the fuck up shut the fuck up i'm checking your ego at the door i got like point zero 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 one of your audience i'm still better than you i dress better than you my bitch better than yours my shoes better my mic better my sound quality better my ability to go off the top is better everything about me is better my webcam better my camera better my wedding pitch is better my art better my videos better my shit more entertaining than yours my shit don't make people feel like they sitting through a manic episode my shit make people feel something that make them feel good about themselves you need that in your life tell your wife babe i'm stressed i need my dick sucked and just quit it everyone use whatever you want talk about this as much as you want anymore i'm done because you all suck you all suck and you don't compare to other niggas that's out there we go uplift them it's on site for you if Hassan ain't a shooter, he got a shooter. What you want? You want me to defend that nigga? I don't give a fuck about him because he don't give a fuck about me. But guess what? You taking money out my pocket. Yeah, I was supposed to receive a nice big check from Twitch last month. Ended up getting my shit ripped down because you made me a target when you reposted my video. Game over, kid. Barely anybody going to watch this video. still gonna acknowledge me I run this shit now